Hey folks, JD here, and today we are looking at this. This is the Isheen E52TX. Now, let's open this up and have a little look inside. So, apologies that this is coming out a little bit late. Uh, it's now actually 6pm right now when the video should actually go live. I've been working in London for the past couple of days and therefore I haven't had a chance to get this video prepared uh, to go out. So, here we go. Right then, look at that. Really quite nice packaging. Open it up and this is what we get. We've got the transmitter and we've got the Isheen drone itself. So, let's take both these out. Right then. So, this is what we've got. Let's have a little look at the quadcopter first. So, this is the Isheen. This is really quite nice. As you can see, it's a folding quadcopter. Looks a little bit like the Skytech, if I'm honest. It feels a little bit like the Skytech as well. Although its shape is dramatically different, um, I can't help but feel is that it might be uh, modeled slightly on the Skytech itself. So the arms just fold out. There's no latches to hold on to the inside. As you pull out the, the arms, the arms just come out um, and they just go back in as well. There's no, no extra little bits to fiddle with there. So we've got a camera on the front. The camera can be adjusted ever so slightly. It looks up slightly, looks straight on and looks down as well at about a 50 degree angle. So that's okay, that's not too bad. Right underneath the quadcopter we've got this battery bay. Now there's no screws here, but there are either side these two little plates that you push. And then we should have the battery that just comes straight out. Look at that. That is brilliant. Now, by doing this, you can see the power adapter is there that plugs into the USB charger, and that should give you quite a nice little uh, flight as well, to be honest with you. Let's see if I can see what this bad. No, I can't make out on the inside what this battery is, unfortunately. Um, but charging should take about an hour and a half, which isn't too bad, to be honest. Hopefully, the flight will be rated to about eight to ten minutes. So then pop this back in, and then it just clicks in. That's really nice, and it's sturdy as well. Looking at the top of the machine, we've got the on and off button right here. By holding it down for a couple of seconds, you'll see this green panel will appear. Look at that. Now, that's a lot different to the other LEDs we've been used to. This almost gives it like a very fifth element, like flying car type element, I think. We've got green on the front, we've got red on the back there. There we go, look at that. That's really nice. So once again, click and hold to turn itself off. That's a really nice button. Normally, you'll find that wherever, the, the, wherever there's a little button, wherever the contact is on the inside, won't be held in properly and it'll be quite spongy. This isn't at all. This is really quite nice to put, quite nice to press, and it feels solid as well, which I think is a, is a big difference. Now, the rest of the quadcopter, there's no buttons over any of the rest of it, no matter how much they look like buttons. The only button is that one there. That's really nice. I'm looking forward to flying this. the The nice matte color as well is really nice as well, kind of like a bronzy red. Oh yeah, I'm really liking this a lot. I really am. So let's just fold this back in. Uh, just for safekeeping for now. Let's fold in all the arms because I'm going to want to be taking this out in the next couple of days. So we've got the front propeller arms come in first then the back then just sit on top like that. All in all that's really nice. It's light. It's about the length of your hand which to be honest with you that that's really quite nice. Awesome. Right so that's the quadcopter. Now we've got the transmitter. Now this transmitter, if you ask me, looks exactly the same as one of the SEMA X5 UWs and uh, the X5 UC controllers. Which, to be honest with you, is a really good thing. Because the style just works. It just fits in your hand, it feels beautiful. Your fingers reach the shoulder buttons here. Your fingers and your thumbs can reach all the buttons across the transmitter. All in all, that's very nice. Now obviously, as you can tell, this quadcopter does come with altitude hold, which is an absolute boon when it comes to flying these things. The on and off button feels quite nice. We've also got two buttons here as well, which is quite new, one there and one there. No buttons over the rest of it other than the trim buttons, return to home function, as well as take photos and turn on the camera uh, for audio record, for, sorry, for video recording. Now, a little bit of assembly required here, not a lot. There's a little gap there and you've got this FPV boom. This just slots in and just clicks in until there's a click. Look at that, perfect. 
really solid, really nice. That's not coming off anywhere. Your smartphone's going to be held on really well with this. So as you open it up, obviously your smartphone clicks in here. You've got two little, uh, like almost like foam pads in there that just gently sit on your smartphone a little bit like that uh, and just stop it from falling out. Batteries. So as you can see, by opening the battery bay door, there are four batteries which are needed, four AA batteries. Now this charger does not allow any sort of USB charging, so therefore your batteries are going to have to be shop bought um, or pre-charged before they go in here. So, so far we've looked at the transmitter and we've got the quadcopter. Now let's look at the accessories. So, not a lot of accessories with this. Obviously you've got your, your standard little manual as well. You've got another manual as well, I'm guessing probably for in different languages. So there's that one. And then we've also got the little accessory bag here. So this little accessory bag includes the following. USB charger for your battery inside your quadcopter here. Four spare propellers. And a little motor hole tool for you to take the propellers off. All in all, that's okay. That's not too bad. Um, obviously, because you will be using your smartphone to record the video, all of your videos will record on the smartphone, so there's no need for an SD camera, uh, an SD card, or even there's not even an SD card slot anywhere on this uh, quadcopter. So, there we go, folks. All in all, we've got ourselves a quite nice little quadcopter here, which I'm really looking forward to taking out on Saturday. So please join me then when I will be taking this out and putting it through its paces. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening, folks. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.